These dumbbells are just too bulky. They always need to be plugged in to work, also require batteries, and the app is just broken. Hi there, my name is Derek, and I will be returning the Nordic Trek I Select Dumbbells after only using them for a few weeks. For my initial review and unboxing video, I did give them pretty high praise, saying that I liked them more than the Core Fitness Dumbbells. However, I have changed my mind in the last few weeks of using them, just because of all the other little annoyances that come along with these dumbbells. So that makes a good segue into the pros and cons list. Let's take a look at the pros first. Number one is the turn dial on the cradle that changes the weights all the way from five to 50 pounds is very, very easy to use. As long as the dumbbells are in the cradle correctly, you just turn it left to right and it does the work for you. Make sure that the number on it stops blinking before taking it out or you will mess up the adjuster inside the cradle. My next pro is that these work very well with the hyperbell. Now I did make a video on this, but essentially it is a barbell. You can attach the dumbbells on the end too in order to add additional weight and use more of a barbell setup in your home workouts. Yes, you can't go over 200 pounds with it, but it is a decent option if you're looking to use that in your home training. You can use code GAMERBODY to get 15% off while the code still works. So make sure you check out the link in the description and use that code if you're looking for the hyperbell. My next pro is that the materials, the plates, and the handle are made from it, it is a knurled handle by the way, are very, very good. All my complaints come with the rest of the functionality of it, but the actual dumbbells themselves are pretty nice overall. And lastly, these dumbbells make less noise than the core fitness dumbbells when using it. That means when I use the core fitness dumbbells and kind of shake it around, there's a little bit of rattling. These still have a little bit of noise, but less than I'd say the core fitness dumbbells have. And with that, now it's time to take a look at the cons for the Nordic Track I Select adjustable dumbbells. Number one is going to be the price. Now I got these early on. It was like one of the first days of the sale on Amazon for these dumbbells for $300. Within a day after me buying it, it went up to $429. Looking back, I would not pay this price for these dumbbells. The 300, I would actually consider buying it for that, but not at 429. My next con is that you do have to have them plugged into a wall outlet in order to change the weights. This is a big con, especially if you're someone who doesn't have an outlet in the room you're working out in. For me, I'm lucky enough I do, so I can plug them in and use them. But if you don't have an outlet, don't even bother buying these at all. I think this is a major con. I wish there was some other way to do it, maybe even battery powered, whatever it might be, so that you don't have to plug it in, but it is required for these. And to go along with that, there are batteries that go in only the handles of the iSelect dumbbells. And this to me is just, it's just annoying. You already have to plug it in. Why do I need to put batteries in the handles to also adjust the weights? It just seems like a lot of stuff here was just, I don't know, it wasn't well designed in that manner. Yes, they probably last a very long time, um, but just know all these little nuances that you have to it just make it more annoying. With the core dumbbells, I literally can just change them in a few seconds to go from five to 50 pounds. But now with these ones, I have to worry about power and batteries for the future. A big con coming up is that you can actually jam the base of this when selecting different weights pretty easily. This didn't really happen too much in my initial testing, but after using it a few times, and especially after trying to set up the voice commands, which I'll get to in a little bit, but especially after that, I ran into an issue where it wasn't selecting the proper weights and it was getting jammed. So I'd have to take all the plates out of the cradle, reset it all, and then put it all back in, just wasting a lot of time, especially if you're actually in a workout and this happens, that is a big annoyance that you might have to deal with. So watch out for that. It didn't happen a ton, but enough to where it was something that weighed on me and I was just like, this is really annoying to do. And the most annoying con, which I spent hours and hours trying to resolve was the voice commands and setting up um, the Alexa app on this device. So for me, it was just, again, I wasted hours trying to do this. It would sync up. So it would sync up to my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all that stuff fine. Even the Alexa was just fine getting all set up. However, once I did it and I tried to activate it so I'd do the voice commands, the system would actually freeze. So it didn't even try to change it first. Then I go over and try and change it manually and it would actually freeze the cradle and the numbers would look all weird on it. So it basically just broke my device. And after I'd say probably like four hours of trying to get it to work over the last couple of weeks total, I've just given up completely on ever using the app. It is a really cool design in theory, very, very poorly implemented in the actual product when I've been trying to use it. And no, I've now had to factory reset the device twice to get it just working again where I can do the normal dial left and right. Because once you set up to your Wi-Fi, 
it just it always stays like that until you actually reset it so again that's very very annoying to deal with now my next con is the actual size or bulkiness of these dumbbells they are quite a bit bigger than the other ones i've tested in the past um and there's another reason i really don't like it is because on the handles themselves they never taper off into the bigger ones Kind of like the Corvins dumbbells, it kind of goes from a small plate to the larger plates. So there's some wiggle room. But with this one, you just have the plates themselves right away at the normal size. Um, and when I was doing it, things like the overhead press and chest press, some other exercises, actually had the dumbbells going into my wrists, which was not very comfortable. Of course, if you're using the Hyperbell bar, this isn't a problem at all. But if you're doing things with just your hands and holding onto the dumbbells, this got really annoying, especially at the higher weights, having that... Um, pressing of the dumbbells into my wrist when doing many of the exercises. So that concludes everything regarding what I think of the Nordic Track I Select dumbbells. I am going to be returning these, so just so you know, I will be returning these dumbbells and going back to the core fitness adjustable dumbbells. As again, they go from 5 to 50 pounds, they're a lot smaller, they cost a lot less, and I think just overall, there'll be a lot less headache than me trying to deal with this thing and plugging it into a wall and make sure it always works. It's just, again, really cool in theory, and I really wanted to buy them and test them right away, but they just didn't pan out after a few weeks of using them like I thought they would in my initial review.